It was a moment of great joy for priests, religious, family members and the lay faithful of the Catholic Archdiocese of Abuja as 13 new laborers were added into the vineyard of God in a priestly ordination. <laughs> Archbishop K. Gama, who was the ordinating prelate, charged the new priest to avoid the temptation of materialism and look up to Christ, the high priest and rewarder of those who diligently seek him. When a priest's eyes are focused only on how he is to make his priestly office as a means of getting money or getting property, acquiring property, I want to tell you that these material things will make the priest unsettled, unhappy, unfulfilled, discontented, and miserable. Because the moment the priest feels he does not get these material things, he becomes bitter, impatient, and hostile to the people. Once the priest puts material things first, it's very easy. You can see his attitude to the people, his attitude of hostility. He is bitter, not happy. He's angry all the time. And even when it comes to his superior, he is angry. When it comes to the archbishop or bishop, he is angry. Why? Because his priority is wrong. Your priority is Christ, number one. Focus on Christ and your ministry. And then all other things will be yours. But when you focus on grabbing material things, you will always be an angry priest. You will always be an unfulfilled priest, discontented and miserable. The author of Hebrews in our second reading today reminds us that every high priest chosen from among men is appointed to act on behalf of men in relation to God. That is our primary duty. Not to gather this, gather that for ourselves or for our friends or for our families. No! If you are in the priesthood because of that, I'm sorry for you. By being harbingers of hope to the poor, to the sick, the prisoners, those displaced from their homes, we call them IDPs, victims of violence, even domestic violence, Victims of sexual abuse, banditry, kidnapping, and economic strangulation. You heard recently how uh, 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 there was a crash and so many of our members of the army were killed. And some groups were claiming that they are responsible. So sad, so tragic. That sense of patriotism is missing. So. Our duty is to bring help, to bring consolation, to bring spiritual comfort to those who are so afflicted. And now, in our country, people are suffering from what I call economic strangulation. Because the price of everything has increased, somebody sent me a list of all the different food items and their costs. You say maize used to be like this, but now it is like this. Gary used to be like this, but look at the difference now. So it is unaffordable for many people. So our job is to help. Not that we will provide the money, provide the food, provide everything, but at least to be there, to be present with them and to embrace them and to talk nicely to them and to counsel them.